Bro. Look, if they're still alive, that's letting them out as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Gavin Newsom, what a troublesome young man. And he's only been in office, what, a month, two months? He's just yeah. beginning. Folks, we have 38 anti-gun bills in our legislature right now looking at us this year. <laughs> 38. There are 13 in the Assembly, 6 in the Senate, and 19 on the watch yeah, list. Yeah, that's... Which doesn't going to be Calvary Chapel Murrieta. Calvary Chapel Murrieta. That's going to be our sheep-based seminars. Calvary Chapel Murrieta. What date is that? And that is sheep-based. The sheep dog September ninth. September ninth. Okay, that's great. Cal Chapel Murrieta. That's the big one. That's the, the big campus yeah. down there. Crawfish broils at Rahagi's. And I'm setting up a, uh, a series of seminars for first-time deer hunters. So Perfect. I'll let you know more about that. Maybe we can do something together on that. Yeah, we would love to do that. And like I said, if you if we want to start to set this up so I come in like once a month, then I'll actually drive out and bring coffee and visit with you. All right, Ooh. so let's go. Uh, I like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we used to actually have coffee at this station. That's how they got me here. Yeah. Um, Let's let's set up for the first Thursday of the month uh, of the month. Okay. Just put it on your that schedule. Works. Yeah, I think the works. last time he was here, we had coffee. You were here a long time ago. When was the last time you were here? <laughs> probably two years. <laughs> probably, probably two years. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you were the head of the C whatever it is. I can't get the yeah. list right. CRPA. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you were head then. Well, he nope. is now. Thank yeah. God. Thank yeah. God, because he's doing a great job there. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll start with the fun stuff. We'll start with the. Uh, the good things that are happening, and then we'll just depress everybody with the legislative announcements. How's that? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I'm turning my mic off. You don't have to hear me moan in the background. <laughs> and I'm not even a firearm owner, but this is ridiculous. Why aren't you? Don't you hear our advertising? I don't know. You know, he says that every time we get together. Well, I need to get one, but it's I don't have 600 bucks. I say, it's and then all the training and he's cheap. Well, he's cheap. you know, you know this, what's going to happen owns, is somebody's going to. Uh, this guy owns seven rentals, and he's no, I afraid don't. of st how many rentals you have. Five. <laughs> <laughs> He's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he owns five rentals. <laughs> you can sell your uh, party wagon. Yeah, we'll get about five grand for that, maybe. Well, you if I'm lucky. Ten guns for that. There you go. We can start you. You know what they call ten guns? Not enough. A good start. Oh, a good start. Yeah. <laughs> it's I was the training. Say, like, safe. I, I need to do the training is what I really you need do, to do. And we can help you with that, too. I know you can. You know, um, yeah. it's almost like, what do they call it? <laughs> you know what? I will even be this nice and say we'll comp you a class at the CRPA training center. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, but he's going to want to have gas money to drive to Fullerton. I know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, luckily, I don't. Well, River Valley's not too far from Fuller. And just hop it's on the not, 57 not, over the hill. Take your bike down the river trail. <laughs> oh, then I have to. It's not so bad going down. It's coming back. Oh, yeah. Geez. All right, let's get going here, guys. All right, I'll turn my mic off. Here we go. Do you have, you have the computer on in there? Yeah, you I see do. the time. Okay. You're, um, you can comment if you feel I have like nothing it. to add. That, that is true. Just That's why you're on that side comments. of the glass. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it, it's good. It, your natural reaction when you hear about the stuff. It's just chime in. Yeah, it's, it's worse than that. Yeah. All right, fire in the hole. Our freedom is going uh, too fast. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, folks. Welcome to another edition of Firing Line Radio Show. This is Philip Naiman. And uh, this day, this wonderful, fine spring Saturday in Southern California, I have Rick Travis on the line with me. Rick Travis is the executive director of the California Rifle Pistol Association, a great organization, been around for many, many years, but under the direction of Rick Travis, been very, very active the last several years. And I, I can't tell you what a difference it's made having this person involved with that organization in the legislative efforts and the training efforts and in everything good about the CRPA. I just want to give a round of applause. That's two rounds of applause, actually, to Rick Travis. Rick, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to be here. Well, I'm just glad that you're 
where you are and doing what you do because with the schedule you keep, it's much better that you have to do that than me. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Not sure my dog does. Or your wife, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Hey, I want to talk about, before we get into all the legislative uh, shenanigans, which I think shenanigans is actually a uh, pretty good word for what they've got going on here, the, the legislative... Well, especially given that, you know, this is the week of, uh, you know, our Irish heritage. It's an excellent word to use. Well, that is true. Everybody's borrowed Irish this, this weekend. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, so... The week of this uh, this particular week, I wanted to go over some of the things that we have that are good uh, mm-hmm. on the schedule. So you actually have some fun stuff coming up, and one of them is going to be April 13th, and we'll be there. Firing Line Radio Show is going to be there. I had to miss the last couple of these because of scheduling conflicts. But what's April 13th? April 13th is what we call the Crawfish Boil. It's our largest Southern California event. And it's designed for, you know, people who are already in our community shooting. But it's, it's kind of that idea that you bring people that are your neighbors, your friends, your coworkers who have been curious. And this is the bridge step. And we do it around food. And so the idea is we bring about two and a half tons of crawfish that are pulled up out of the bayous of Louisiana the day before, are These- flown to LAX. Are you sure these aren't yeah. out of the Santa Ana River Channel over there? Yeah, no, they're not out of the Santa Ana River Channel, though. They they come in, <laughs> and uh, we pay to get them out here, and those little critters are brought into uh, Rahagas, and they start kicking them up, and they do a traditional you know crawfish gumbo kind of thing going on, and it's it's just an absolute fun time. We have helicopter rides for those that listen. You know the drive Priuses. There's going to be a four wheel drive. On demo that you can actually go out and, 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 you know, man or woman up for the day and drive a four-wheel drive vehicle and, and use gas for what it was intended for and have some fun doing that. Um, kids, adults, everybody's going to have chances to do firearm shooting, you know, pistol, rifle, archery, shotgun, and get out there and uh, learn what it's all about in a safe environment and get to see that our culture is comprised of people that range from blue collar to white collar, you know, students all the way up to retirees, doctors, lawyers, you know, trash collectors, everything in between, and get to realize that we're, well, in a word, American. Yeah, blue collar, white collar, not wife beater. Yeah. No. Right. Bad. Absolutely. Uh, looking forward to that. What time does it start? Starts at 8 o'clock in the morning, ends at about 4.30 in the afternoon. And tickets. And uh, bring, bring, you know, your, your good attitude and your appetite because we have literally tons of food. And bring a shotgun. I mean, the range is going to yeah. be open. Yeah, the range is going to be open. And uh, we're also going to have an exhi- uh, exhibition of the mounted horse riders that compete and they shoot from their, the backs of their horses. And so that's a lot of fun. So there's going to be a lot of things that you won't see the rest of the year, even if you went out to Rahagas every day. They're going to be there just that one day. Well, folks, let me tell you this also. Rahagas is not going to have the sports fair this year. Uh, they've made that announcement. So there's not going to be a sports fair, but this is going to be a time for you to come out and kind of get a mini sports fair. We're going to have great food, right? you got to love that part. The range will be open, so they got the sporting clays side, which is a really a lot of fun and a great, great course. And, of course, they have their pistol bays, which are world-class, and, and they've improved them substantially. So it's a great opportunity to come out and just spend the day, bring somebody who hasn't shot before, kind of give them the overall view of what's going on with that. And I think it's going to be a great event. That's April 13th. And tickets are available where? They can go to crpa.org, and they can buy the tickets right there, or they can call our office. At 714-992-2772 and buy them there. How much are tickets? You know what? That, I hate it when people ask me. These CRPA.org. Find out more pictures. about it on yeah. there. There you go. Also, then you have your sheepdog seminars. Now, the sheepdog seminars was something you started off last year. Uh, the sheepdog seminar, this is for places of worship, okay? Yes. That are, that are soft targets, you know, and and helping them understand the threats that are out there for Christian and Jewish uh, places and how to protect themselves and, and how to get involved with that. So tell us a little bit more about that, will you? Yeah, this all started because uh, myself talking with a couple of sheriffs up in Northern California, and we got to talking about how many times uh, places, uh, what we call faith-based centers of worship, are attacked here in California, we're not even talking about the ones that make the national news, but here in California, and how often they are attacked nationally, and it's basically every minute and a half a faith-based property 
is incurring either a violent crime such as rape or murder or embezzlement or, you know, sexual say, predation, say, things say like that. Say that again. How often? Every minute and a half. Sink that in, folks. Every minute and a half. Well, you know, maybe and, we should just let all the people off death row off, you know. <laughs> yeah, no. And so what this is all about is we're providing that opportunity for people of faith to come in and learn what they should be doing, and they're learning from people who have actually both been on the first responder side of it as well as the leadership side of the equation. And a couple of those people have done both. Um, at this one that we're playing in September, we'll actually have the pastor of Sutherland Springs will be there to talk about what happened that tragic day and what it took for his right. congregation. That's correct. Yeah. And what it took for his congregation to recover from that. And so we really do a 360, and then we provide the, the avenues for training and for further information for each of those different organizations that attend to be able to build up their own plans. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be September 9th at Calvary Chapel, Murrieta. Yep. Calvary Chapel, Correct. Murrieta, their big campus. That's like a little mini college down there. Calvary Chapel, Murrieta, September 9th. Find out more at crpa.org. Now, that's the fun stuff we have going on. Uh, and we're going to announce a few other things too, but uh, now we have to kind of look at the business of this year. Folks, elections have consequences, and unfortunately, Gavin Gruesome, I don't know, it's the, the, the <laughs> second worst choice ever for, uh, for governor is our governor. And who's the worst choice? Probably Kevin DeLeon, but this guy is right there with him. I mean, it just, it doesn't get... Uh, to correctly say this in the vernacular of one of my old cowboy friends, he always says it don't get no better. Um, it's almost it don't get no worse. I mean, that's how bad we're looking at right now with the super majority in the Senate and the Assembly and this wonderful person, Gavin Newsom, uh, the man who turned San Francisco from the gleaming from the gleaming city on the hill to the steaming city on the hill with little uh, brown steam piles everywhere. Uh, that's their, you know, uh, open, open heroin uh, shooting facilities. Uh, just that's their desire. They want California to look like San Francisco. And you need to go to San Francisco to realize just how dangerous this particular thing is. Um, he's our governor, unfortunately. And the assembly is just as wackadoodle as this guy is. When you gave me the count a little bit earlier here, Rick... We're looking at 38 potential anti-gun bills this year. Only. Correct. So far. And that doesn't count any gut and amends that will pop up in October. Correct. So only 38. Uh, you, you gave me the numbers. There's 13 in the Assembly, 6 in the Senate. Uh, let's start with the most egregious one in your opinion. Wow. Um, usually that's a pretty easy thing to talk about. Um, <laughs> I start with the seven most egregious ones that are all equal. And... Yeah. So let me, I'll, I'll do what I, I just got done doing last night talking to a group, and that was, it is very interesting. I think things that we have to keep our eye on the ball, as we've talked before, is Governor Newsom does not plan on staying Governor Newsom. Governor Newsom wants to be President Newsom. And so he is literally touring different places and working with different states across to bring California to them because he sees what he's doing here as part of a national plan. And I think that's, that's got to be highlighted, and he's working with the supermajority to try to do it. So um, just to give you know, the listeners an idea, gun violence restraining orders is you know, literally an accident waiting to happen for law-abiding citizens in many respects. And between... The Assembly, you know, and the Senate, we have, like, literally two and possibly, you know, we have a couple on the watch list, as many as four, just dealing with that. Firearm okay. storage is another area. So let's go with this. We're going we're gonna to pick you up after this. I have to take a break. Sorry about that. But gun violence restraining right. orders and storage. And, right. uh... Folks, this is Philip Naiman, Firing Line Radio Show with Rick Travis from the California Rifle and Pistol Association, crpa.org. Don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs> 